Welcome to Household Wizardry, where we make stuff out of things we have in our house. This week we're making a marble labyrinth out of just cardboard and glue. You can make it as easy or as hard as you want. To get started with your cardboard labyrinth, you're going to need a couple supplies and tools. You're going to start out with cardboard, the kind that you get from a box from shipping. You'll also need hot glue. Paint is optional, a black marker, paper, a marble, a cutting tool such as a utility knife or exacto knife, scissors can work but they're a little bit difficult to work with, a cutting mat so that you don't cut through your table. A drill bit of uh, 0.75 to 1 inch is optional. A ruler, straight edge, pencil, and compass. Measure and cut out two 12 by 12 squares out of your cardboard. You can use the first square you cut out to trace on the cardboard to make your second square. Now get some more cardboard and cut out four rectangles that are 12.25 inches by two and a half inches and four rectangles that are 11 and three fourths inches by three fourths of an inch. Now take one of your 12 by 12 squares and plot out your maze. A good rule of thumb is to keep passageways about an inch wide. It can be wider than that, but you don't want to get smaller than an inch. Also plot your holes and obstacles. Think of it like a grid of one inch squares that you can take away or leave in. This is where your compass will come in handy when you're plotting out your circles. Now you have a choice. You can either try to cut them out with your utility knife or exacto knife or use your drill. If you're going to use a utility knife it's gonna be a long process and you're gonna to have to be very careful it will take you a long time I'm opting to use the drill now if you use the drill find a small box that you can place the top of the maze on to cut the holes and after you have made your circles for the holes 
make sure you poke a little hole in the center as you're doing that so that you have something for the drill to follow. So use your drill very slowly and carefully. You don't want to tear your cardboard apart. Remember you're using a three-fourths bit and then you can clean up the holes after you're all done. Now that you have your holes from your maze cut and looking nice and clean, you are going to get a fresh piece of cardboard and you're gonna cut strips that are three quarters of an inch wide by however long you need them. And then uh, measure them and make your walls with them and glue them on with the hot glue. Next, take the quarter inch by 11.75 inch strips that you cut in the first steps and hot glue them to the top of the maze around the edges. Now you can start gluing in your walls of the maze. Now you need to cut four 11.75 inch by 1.25 inch rectangles for the bottom supports. Now take one of the 2.25 by 12.25 rectangles and cut out a square near the corner, uh, large enough for the marble to go through, so about 0.75 by 0.75 square. Then take one of the 0.75 by 1.75 rectangles you just cut and make the same cut in the same place on that rectangle. So center the smaller piece over the bigger piece, and then you're gonna trace the Square that you cut out of the first piece onto the smaller piece. Just like that. So now you have this. Next you're going to glue those two pieces together and then you're going to glue the larger rectangles to the outside of your base and the rest of the smaller rectangles on the inside supporting the walls and that is what's going to support your maze when you're all done. It's going to look like this with the large strips on the outer part and the smaller strips glued into the center. 
and make sure they are on the outside of the base, not on the inside or else it won't work. Lastly, you can now squeeze the top maze part into the bottom part so it's nice and snug. And you can paint it however you like. Uh, brown spray paint works good. Um, you might need a couple coats because the cardboard really absorbs the paint. Now you can put your marble in there and you're all set.